What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so we finally made it to the next town right here, and well, it is finally time for us to switch up the threads just a little bit, because off screen we went and bought ourselves some new clothes, you know, just to look a little bit better. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, well, I'm trying to find out which one is, a, is the best one for us right here. And uh, it looks like we're in a, oh, well, we're in an area where it's just like, it's it's a little, it's a little fall time right here. So we're just going to be changing up the cap and let's see, uh, we got ourselves a new uh, striped shirt right here. Let's see, V-neck, V-neck, logo shirt. That's what you normally get. And this is a new logo shirt and King logo shirt. So you know what? We're going to go with the striped shirt just for this occasion right here. And let's see, let's go with the pants. Let's see, what do we got for the pants right here? Hmm. Beige. Well, you know what? Let's go with red. Actually, nah, hold on, hold on. Actually, it does, it does, it does match. It does match. And the socks really don't care. Let's see, we got new boots. We got red boots, brown boots, and sneakers. Uh, let's see, how does the brown boots look? Yeah, it looks okay. And then, uh, let's see. Kind of, uh, okay, so we got a new bag right here. And you know what, we're just going to keep the same bag right here. And, well, there really isn't anything that I can change up with a feather accessory. Look at that. Alright, we're going to switch it up. Feather accessory right here. Alrighty. Let's change it up right here. Okay, look at that. That's right, we don't match in colors, but we look good. we just walk it around and everything. Okay, so... Here we are in, I don't remember what town we are, but look at this guy. It's the uh, O-Powers man, and we, we haven't seen him in quite some time. So, let's go ahead and get some O-Powers from this guy. And, well, let's see. We got a very good one. Don't really know what it is. But look at that. Encounter increases the chance of Pokemon. Okay, so that is good right there. Hopefully, we use these O-Powers sometime soon right there. And, well, let's move on and take care of business right here. So, here we are... Don't know what town we're at. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It says right here. A uh, Laverse City. The city of otherworldly dreams. So this place right here, as you can probably tell, it is a place for fairy type Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well, that is our next gym battle. And this guy right here, his name is Amgadi. I have a synth uh, scintillating story for you. Would you like to hear my story? Sure. When you see the setting of the sun, does it make you want to go home? Wow. That right there was uh, disappointing, and well, this guy right here, my dad's older brother, that's my uncle, you know, lives in uh, Hoenn region. Maybe we met him before, I don't know, probably. After Arbok, after an Arbok uses Shed Skin, I collect the discarded skin and make wallets. Did you know that some Pokemon can use Shed Skin to heal status conditions? Yes, I did. I did. But I think I used that quite a few times, probably. Okay, so let's see. There really isn't a lot that we can do right here except for like the Pokemon, uh, the Pokeball uh, factory right here. Now, once we cross right here, this is a place for the next gym, the Laverse City Gym, which we will get to in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Talk to this person. My Pokemon is always with me. I'm never alone. That's good. So am I. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this. Battle combo moves have different effects depending on the combination of fire grass and water they exert great power in double battles and triple battles this is true i think i did a combination like that hey uh, do you still travel with the pokemon uh, still travel with the pokemon the professor gave you yes if you have if you two have a strong bond there's a special move i, I can learn do you want me to teach a battle combo move sure and so I think, yeah, we can we can use either both Kakashi or Godzilla. It doesn't really matter which starter Pokemon you actually have. And they will try and learn either Water Pledge or Fire Pledge if you have uh, both the Fire and Water type Pokemon. And, well, I'm trying not to teach that because it's not really a, it's not really a move that I... Oh, wow. It's really not a move that I want to use. Yes. God dang it. Nope. Give up. Yes. All right. And let's see, fairy type Pokemon. Huh. Hold on just a sec, guys. Alrighty, you gotta love the people who give me phone calls during the middle of this whole thing. It's rid it's ridiculous. Fighting, dark, and bug type Pokemons are not effective against them. And dragon type moves are not effective at all. You don't say. Now there is a person here, passerby Shoko Shoki. 
wants to battle me. Sorry, buddy. Can't do it right now. Currently recording. So, let's move on right here. I think this individual has a little something for us. The building that's part of the biggest uh, tree in town is the Laver City Pokemon Gym. Actually, it's the building right next to us. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, again, we will get there eventually. Now, let's see. There is... Oh, okay. If you talk to this lady right here... What's this? I see. Perhaps a trainer as accomplished as you... Uh, as you can uh, do the most out of this. And we get ourselves an, a Gengarite. Which, well, of course... We'll have a Gengar Mega Evolve. Some Pokemon evolve when sent by a Pokemon to Ling Trade. That's right, Hunter is one of those Pokemon. I'm all about I'm all on my own, so I don't have anyone to Ling Trade with. I'll use the GTS or Wonder Trade. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. So let's go right ahead and just continue our visit right here. Talk to this person. What a lovely little trainer you are. What kind of Pokemon do you uh, do you, do you have with you? Oh, you're Greninja. It's amazingly friendly towards you. It must be happy spending every day with you. She doesn't give you anything. She just says that we're happy. Greetings, greetings. As you can see, I am the head of the local chapter of the Pokemon Fan Club in the Kalos region. It is pro it is my proud duty to grant effort rib ribbons to any Pokemon that are clearly making an effort. Greetings, greetings. Uh, let's see, your Greninja is... It has made positively tremendous effort. It, w it would look uh, just as sunny if I give it this uh, effort a ribbon to wear as a reward. And look at that. We got ourselves... We got ourselves an effort ribbon, which is cool. Oh, with that effort ribbon, your Pokemon is positively blinding in its radiance, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. So, let's see, that is that. Now, if you go right here, I don't know what you can get right now. Let's see, talk to this lady. Every gym badge tells the story of hard-won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at the badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you when you want it. Can I see one of those gym badges? Sure. Which badge story would you like to hear? Let's go with the bug badge. Couldn't remember what happened there. Okay, you got the bug badge with Pikachu, Froakie, and your Fleshling, right? Want to show me another badge? The Cliff Badge. Wow! You're currently a Charmeleon, Frodigir, and Pikachu. And Axu! Oh, wow. I completely forgot about all those guys right there. Okay, so let's see. What does this guy have to say? They say that in the engine days, a man and a Pokemon were the same. They're even, they're, there's even a, an old story where a Froakie turned into a human, right? Really? You must be talking about Ash Greninja. Or, yeah, probably. I don't know. So let's see. Now this is the home to the Pokeball factory. And of course, this is the place where they make all the Pokeballs. Now the only problem is that we can't go in there right now because look at this. It is being protected by none other than Team Flare. Adults are taking are talking inside. Scream, kid! Shoo shoo. Hmm. Okay, dick. So we got nothing else to do except go straight for the Pokemon Gym Badge right here. And don't worry guys, it's fairy type Pokemon. We already know its typings and how to beat it and all that stuff. But before we go there, let's see. It sure seems like Pokemon are, is great. My like my Pokemon is getting stronger really fast. Could it be because we play with, uh, together every day? Probably. Talk to this lady. You know what? I love being in big things. My favorite Pokemon are big ones too. What I mean by big, you know, is taller than 9 feet 10 inches. Come on, if you have a big Pokemon, show it to me. What? No big Pokemon for me? I want to see a big a Pokemon bigger than 9 feet 10 inches. Huh. Who could that be? Like, I, I don't think I have one at all right now. And, well, this is a cafe, which I probably won't be going into anytime soon. So, let's go straight to the Pokemon badge. First Pokemon, uh, first fairy type gym badge of its kind. Let's go and take care of business right here. Look at that. Okay, so here we are in Laverse City Gym. Just like a fairy tale. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Well, howdy, Mr. Pouty. What's new, future champ? This here is the Laverre City Gym. Uh, Gym has a truly confounding conundrums. The first shocker is this here is a fairy type gym. Bet you've never seen one of these before. The second shocker is uh, how you get around. Hop on, uh, hop on one of the warp panels off and you go, but where you'll land, nobody knows. <laughs> Just pulling your leg, champ. The warp panels all have fixed de destinations, of course. So go on, step on a flashing uh, yellow pan. Oh, yellow panel. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, uh, well, let's go ahead and just travel around here now. 
you can see, this is kind of like uh, Sabrina's gym. You're going to have to find your way around here. And so far, we haven't found a trainer, so I'm going to go to the corner right here. And, well, this one will, of course, bring me to a trainer. So what I'm going to do right now is not do that. I am going to switch out Pokemon right here because... Let's see, do I have a Pokemon? Oh, yeah, I do. Goku definitely has the move that can actually um, go up against these guys right here. So let's go right ahead. I looked up to Valerie so much that I came here to learn from her. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another gym battle. Furisode Girl Linia. Huh, I don't even know what that is. And here she comes out with the Romatiz. Look at that. Look at this. It's showing off that leg. Mm. That's right. That's the Pokemon version of, uh... That is the Pokemon version of, like, Sexiest Leg or Stanky Leg. So, as many of you guys would already know, Poison-type Pokemon are really effective against, uh... You know, Fairy-type Pokemon right here. As you can see, it takes a lot. But here it comes that attract attack. Good God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go with a Poison, poison Jab. Come on! Oh, God, come on. This is ridiculous. Okay. Well, let's do it again. Let's go with a... Come on. Poison jab for the win. Suck it, Aromatease. Look at that. Of course, I'm getting messages left and right, and I'm just... I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should just put my phone and my, my, my smartwatch away. Now, Bonesaw right here is growing levels. The only thing is that I will not use him in this gym badge because it's a dragon type Pokemon. Has nothing, no effect against dragon or against fairy type Pokemon. And well, here we go. Where do we go? Oh, look at that. Another girl right here. So let's go ahead and switch out a Pokemon. Let's see. Well, Goku's done his thing. Um, you know what? Fluffle needs some battles right here. So let's go ahead and, uh, and struggle just a tad bit. All right. This very so girl had her clothing designed by the one and only Valerie. How do I look? I must live up to Valerie's beautiful design by displaying an equally ba uh, beautiful battle technique. Oh damn. I stand just in this place right here. And look at that very so girl. Kel Ke Ke Kelly wants the battle. And here she comes with a miniature version of Raichu. Which is Didini. 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 I don't even know how to pronounce that, but guess what? Thunder Punch. For the win! And... Uh, wow. I completely forgot that this guy was a... Yeah, an electric-type Pokemon. Duh. And that does nothing. Okay. Two can play that game. Let's go with a Power Gem attack. And look at this guy. Increasing his special attack every single time it gets it. So here we go. Power Gem does it. Does the trick. So we're going to have to eliminate this guy really quick because... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Now, if you guys haven't caught... Well, my episode against Price and Pokemon are gold. They did the same trick. Fall asleep. Nearly get beat. Fall asleep again. You snore and all that stuff until it defeated its own self. And here's a snore attack. Oh, crud. So let's go again. Power gem. Nearly takes this guy out. Let's finish it off one more time. This guy right here trying to... You know, sleep it off. Let's go. Power gem for the win. Suck it, Dedene. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that name right, but still suck it. And Fluffle grows to level 37. And, well, Gaia 3, level 45. Trying to learn in prison. Not going to teach that right now. Not in no mood right now. All right, so she, here she's coming out with an Azumarill. Now, yeah, in this game, Azumarill actually gains a typing as, as a Fairy-type Pokemon. Good for us, because it's still a Water-type Pokemon. Here we go. Thunder Punch. Or the win. Not really, but look at that. They shoot themselves in the foot, and... Well... You're gonna pay for that. Here we go with a Thunder Punch again. Yes, sir. Thunder Punch does its thing. In the rain, by the way. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Kali has been defeated. I feel happy and great. Now... I won't give Ampharos its Mega Stone just yet because in this jam, it would be it would be wise not to. It turns into a Dragon type after you give it it after it Mega evolves, and uh, yeah, as, as we all know, Mega uh, or you know, 
uh, dragon type Pokemon will not have effect against these guys or these chicks or whatever. You know, I'm not generalizing or anything like that. And well, I'm gonna go panel for panel just to see where I'm at. And god dang, I turned to the same place right here. Okay, where am I going? God dang it. Okay, so let's go back right here. And well, let's go right here. Damn, this is like even worse than uh, yeah, this is worse than freaking Sabrina's a gym. We're gonna go right here, and this one takes us to the 400 pocket. And well, there's one right behind this mirror. So look at that. And here we have another trainer. Okay, so now, now that we struggle just a little bit. Let's go ahead and switch off our Pokemon to Kakashi Hitake now. It is a dark type Pokemon too, so we're going to be a little bit careful with this guy. Don't we just look like a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse? Yes, you kind of do. Just a little bit. Here we go. First episode, girl, Blossom wants the battle and she is coming out with a Klefki. Oh, Brad. I think I've made a big mistake right here. Oh, Brad. Let's see. Um... Dude, yep, don't have the move. So let's go ahead and switch out to Godzilla Godzilla. That's right. It's not a dragon type Pokemon. Go ahead and use all your prairie type attacks. But eventually it's gonna just destroy you. So here goes the prison attack. And well, let's go with a flamethrower. Really? You're gonna torment me? Oh god, here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, Cluffy. Does not get anything out of this. Let's go, let's go, and she's coming out with a Curlia. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go. Actually, let's go with Goku right here. Do you have the Pokemon for this move right now? Yeah. Let's go. Is this still a second type of one? Will it still affect it? Who knows? Let's get this. Now, Poison Jab. Let's get it. For the win. Still a, po or still a Fairy type Pokemon. Yes, sir, it fainted. And again, the lagginess in here is uh, crazy. So she's coming out with a Gramble. Let's continue on right here with Goku. And, well, Gramble is just a fairy type Pokemon now. Only a fairy type, and look at that. It survives, but guess what? We survived too, because we're still a steel type Pokemon. So let's go with the Kamehameha attack right here. Aurora Sphere. Look at this. Look at this. Aurora Sphere for the win. Not so effective, but still, we won. Feeling good about that one. And Goku grows to level 44. Yes, sir. Look at that. And Blossom has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty, so that's that. Um, okay, so let's go to the corner right here. See if we can actually get to the gym leader. And no, we're actually going towards another train right here. So let's... Mind our own business and battle her. Did you know that there are a certain type of Pokemon that has no effect against our beloved fairy type Pokemon? Yes, I do. That's right. And I'm not using them. So here's Catherine coming out with a Slurpuff right here. One of the, you know, optional Pokemon that you can actually find, I think, around here probably. I don't know who you can get right here, but they evolve through trades and, well, now I'm gonna go surfing. Surf attack right here. And look at that. Surf attack. Nearly takes this guy out. And that was super effective. Do not want to try that again. It takes most of my energy, so let's do this again. Oh, yes. Look at that. Slurpuff has been defeated. Ah, oh, crud. And level 48 Kakashi does his thing. And, well, Fluffolt grows to level 38 without doing anything, and Catherine has been defeated. Yeah, bud. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's go right here. See if we can actually get to the gym leader. And Good God, stop texting me. Nope. And, well, there is the gym leader. Before we do anything, let's go right ahead and start healing our Pokemon, because this is probably going to be one of the, the more intense battles that we've uh, we will have. And there we go, Goku, that's right. And so, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Kakashi Hitake does not have any, uh, well, it's, it's weak against Fairy-type Pokemon, so you don't want to mess with that. Let's go ahead and talk to the beauty right here. Ooh, look at that. Curtsy and everything. 
know if it isn't a young trainer. It's like you've flown all the way through my gym, fluttering uh, down to me on an unfortunate or a fortunate wind. And I suppose you have earned yourself the right to, uh, to a battle as a reward for your efforts. I'm Valerie, who leads this fairy type gym. I hope your visit will prove uh, entertaining to you. The elusive fairy types may appear frail as a breeze and, dedica and delicate as a bloom, but they are strong. You don't say. So here we go, guys. Another gym battle, and it's against fairy type trainer Valerie. Look at that. She's looking all wonderful. Look at those eyes. Good God. Oh, girl is got it going on, and look at that. She's coming out with a Mawile. In this version, it is now a fairy type Pokemon, but still a steel type Pokemon. Let's go. Flamethrower. Yes, sir. Look at that. Flamethrower does it. And, well, she's coming out with Mr. Mime. I know how to defeat Mr. Mime. I hope you do too. So, let's go. Let's see. Does Gaia know? Is it? Let's see. Hold on just a sec. Does Gaia know? No, it doesn't. I was thinking of somebody else right there. You know what? Screw it. Let's keep Godzilla. Bring it. Godzilla, Godzilla. Ready to kick some ass, take some names. Here we go. Flamethrower attack again. Oh, yes. Mr. Mime is now burnt. And here comes that light screen. Which, of course, will defend its special uh, defense right here. Now, in the next move, I believe it will, it will get healed. So let's go right ahead and Mega Evolve and just use a fly attack. Yes, I knew it. I knew you were going to get healed. So I'm going to take my time. Mega Evolution. Go. Look at that. For the second gym in a row. That's right. Our good old buddy. Good old buddy Godzilla. Mega Evolves into Mega or Mega Charizard X, I think. Yeah, this is X. That's right. You guys got to love the Mega Charizard Y. That guy is something. And, well, here we go. Fly attack for the win. That's right. <laughs> Down for the count. And look at that. Godzilla grows to level 49. Kicking ass, taking names and everything. And here she comes out with the Sylveon, that, or the newest evolution, which is Sylveon. And this one is a powerful Pokemon itself. So let's go straight for a flamethrower. Hopefully we beat this guy quickly. So here comes the flamethrower. No, nothing. And here comes that charm attack. Crap baskets. It is, uh, yeah, lowering our speed our attack partially so let's go with a fly attack that way we don't get hit or anything bring it dazzling gleam light screen has been worn off so here we go bam fly attack does a little bit of damage and here comes its dazzling gleam not so powerful turns out that Godzilla is not a dragon type still especially through mega evolution so here we go flamethrower does the trick and there goes Sylveon How's the field of hail? Oh yeah. And Bonesaw grows to level 40, which is good. Gaia number 3, level 46. And Valerie has been defeated. I hope the sun is shining tomorrow. That would be a, a, a reason to smile. That is a good reason to smile. So, yeah buddy. Yes, that was a fine battle. I shall reward you with a great victory. This is the fairy badge. It is yours now. Its beauty is captivating, is it not? Da, 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 da. Yes, it is. Ah, do forgive me. I was captivated. I forgot the moment that it's yours. Yeah, come on. It's not always about you. The world does not revolve around you right now. It revolves around me. Yeah. All right, so we get the fairy badge. And, of course, this one is uh, the captivating fairy badge will endear any Pokemon up to level 80 to you. Yes, even those Pokemon that you may receive from others will obey you. I also wish, you aw wish to award you this TM. Please consider it a personal gift from me, not simply by uh, the winnings of battle. And we get ourselves the TM99 Dazzling Gleam, a very powerful move, which I will teach to, uh, what was it, Gaia number three. Oh, my, what a curious feeling. I can't seem to recall any longer which move is contained in that TM. I hope you might forgive me. My designs are, are said to be rather mystifying. Do you, do you agree with that? I've always wanted to be a Pokemon, or, yeah, i always wanted to be a Pokemon, you see. That desire is my inspiration and what I try to achieve by designing. And yet, the only time I feel I am truly one of the Pokemon is when we are embroiled in a disparate battle. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Could it be? Never mind. It is nothing, kind trainer. Okay, we're ready. Homegirl. 
Homegirl's got some kind of a, you know, mental thing going on. You know, she wants to be a Pokemon. Hey, man, it's never wrong to be a Pokemon. So there it is, guys. Our next badge has been uh, taken. And before we can just finish this whole thing... Hi, Sensei! Huh? Oh, shoot. It's the girlfriend and the other guy. Hey, that's a fairy type, or that's a fairy type, a fairy badge is so cute and sparkly. You know what? We're going to go to her on the Pokeball factory. Come with us. I'm interested in Pokeballs because they're used to catch Pokemon. Uh, to put it another way, I'm utterly fascinated by them. Okay, alrighty, so we will be going there eventually. But right now, we're just going to take a nice break because uh, we did a lot, a lot, a lot. So, thank you guys for watching. It has been a fun episode. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon X. See you guys.